All right, guys. So just yesterday, I found this thing called portals, which is relatively a new feature, a new, you know, a concept on web to make the navigation on web seamless. And Google has already implemented this in the Chrome browser. So what portals is and how it works, we'll just quickly see that in this video. So I just I just came across portals and rushly created a demo for you guys only to find out that this has already been done. But anyway, so you can go to this URL codedown.github.io. But if you're just watching it right now, probably you would just see a big message here that portals is not supported on your browser. That is because portals right now is only available in Google Chrome browsers behind an experimental flag, which is enable portals, this one. So to enable portals in your browser, you have to go to Chrome flags and just go ahead and search for enable portals and just enable it and relaunch your browser. Once you do that, you can visit this URL, which is just a demo created by me to explore portals. And you can just write whatever URL you want. For example, I'm writing HTTPS google.com and I hit create portal. So what this would do is that you can see in the bottom, I get a strange window kind of thing, which looks like it's actually a web page. You can see the cursor blinking. You have, you can see my, a little, my images here. So it is actually a web page. And what happens, let me just copy the URL here real quick. First of all, what happens is it's the, if I click on this, you see it animates and fills the whole screen. And voila, I'm on google.com now. It's no longer that codedown.github.io URL. So you can see that I actually, I actually navigated as if I clicked on a link here and it took me to google.com. But it was not that, right? So we can just go ahead and actually, let me just go ahead and place, paste this URL itself, see what happens. I'm gonna create a portal. You can see we get the same page, but this time, you know, obviously, different because it's it's this page only so let me just go ahead and show you guys what this little thing actually is so let me just compress this right away right so what we can see is right here this is the portal thing which we were talking about right so you can see that this is in itself a whole new standalone tag right portal src whatever i have and then it has a class of portal transition now, whatever you see here, this little box in this box shadow, it's not the part of API. It's basically just simple HTML and CSS. So you can see that this, this portal has the CSS, which I can actually go ahead and edit right here. And it's going to impact it right now, right? And in fact, as a matter of fact, what we can see is that if I change this, you can see right here, the width and the height is reflected as well. Just like it happens if we scroll it using you know, uh, the Chrome dev tools. So a lot of exciting stuff going on here. Just a bunch of things I have seen with portals is that first of all, um, not, not a lot of browsers have implemented that. That is just Google is working on that for now. And secondly, portals actually destroy the navigation stack. By that, what I mean is that you can see right now, I can just go back, you know, just go to uh, my last page I have. But once I click on this portal, it expands and you can see that the back button is disabled, right? So now I have lost my navigation stack and I cannot go back. Now, obviously this would be fixed as the portal implementation becomes more mature, but yeah, that is, that is like one of the things, right? So yeah, and another thing is that um, if you do not find this flag right here, make sure you're an, on Chrome 78. I'm not sure why, but on Chrome Canary, this uh, flag is not present that means you cannot use a highly experimental feature on a browser canary which which is supposed to support that out of the box i mean yeah that's the purpose of canary right but uh, for some reason it's not present there so anyway just go ahead on your stable release and enable this flag and you would be good to go so yeah that's pretty much it for this video hope you enjoyed it if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next video